to be commissioned to test you, provide you with your result, first right. and foremost, okay? Right. Um, that's what this consent form does. I can't do anything else and move forward with any of this until then. Right. Now, next thing I need you to know is, when you said when's the last time you guys had unprotected sex? Like the 6th. The 6th of August? Yes. Okay, so let me look at the camera. Because I, I left for two weeks and came back. And then the next morning, I'm landing with her. This guy pull up in one of our trucks. What the fuck you doing letting this guy hold your truck? Then the nigga send me pictures of him having sex with her in the truck. So it's been happening for a while. Yeah, okay. and then he's sending me pictures and everything. Okay, so the last time you had unprotected sex with her was August 6th. Yeah. And then what about the, anyone else? In nah, that's it. Okay. That's it. And then, you right. know what I'm saying, when I'm landing in bed making love, this guy signing our truck. I'm like, how the fuck this guy getting in our truck? The whole time, she been giving that nigga the car. Like, like she, she did some foul shit, man. You know what I mean? I don't even know how to deal with her. She keep trying to, you know what I'm saying, talk to me, be all generous. Like, dog, that was some foul shit you did. I got you. You know what I'm saying? That guy was homeless at that. You was sleeping with a homeless guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's like something mentally wrong with her when I try to tell her things. Like, she's not comprehending of what I'm telling her because right. I'm from up here. It's like she trying to go around everything but what I'm what telling, you're her. telling her. See what I'm saying? And, and she's being versed psychology in the situation and making excuses for what she did. See what I'm saying? I got the pictures, I got the, the video, I got everything, dog. So is she not apologetic at all? And at all. At all. Walking around with her fucking head in the air, like like she don't know apology for what she did. She keeps saying we wasn't together for the two weeks. How we how we not together but my shit is still in the house? Question. Now we be in our All my clothes are still I'm in the house. I'm devil's advocate. Right. In the time that you guys have been together, you played. Nah. No, nah, no, nah, I haven't. But it was, it's been accusation from this guy saying I did. Okay. But if, even if I did play, I would have mm -hmm. a condom on. Got you. She right. ain't had no condom on with this dude. So this is why I'm just sleeping with you unprotected. I ain't right. running around here with everybody else like that. Right, see what I'm saying? Got you. And I only sleep with her. I've been with her for almost five years now. Oh, got it. Did her jail bed with her. Got you. I've been in, with that girl through thick and thin. Right. Her turmoil. Right. I was an a, a, a artist and a rapper. I travel the world. My life was me. I got with her in the last four or five years of being with her. My life been in turmoil. A lot of drama been around my life. You listening to what you saying? I'm, I'm telling you what I'm saying. And I've been trying to like leave her, but she been trying to do things like to keep me static on my car. Your name will take my car, but no, my car in her. Mm -hmm. Just like a lot of like shit she been doing. Right, right. See what I'm saying? I'm ready to just get out that circle right, with her. Right, and it. And, and dead it because of the situation that happened with that. She said we wasn't together, but all my shit is still in it. Mm -hmm. She's bringing people in that pack up. What? Right. You know what I'm saying? And like she she did some foul shit, man. Gotcha. And she ain't been apologetic. And that's why I ask you if I want to have a son, like I, I want them to be prosecuted. It's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. Right. Um, but it's totally up to you. That's totally up to your discretion if that's the side that's right. the thing you decide. Because I you told her she ain't even she ain't even had to check the I'm telling her to test it. She's so saying she she saying she wanna go off his test. I'm telling her, like, yo, you can't go off that. He could get that paper made up. He can tell you anything. She's talking about he got to get tested because he got to go to the precinct to get his daughter. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that, man. You got to go get tested, man. And I'm not, I ain't touch her after that that I found out once that Until guy came. she can't... gets tested, you right. can tell her she could come here. I would advise you not to. What we're going to do today is I'm going to test you. Your, I'll let you know your results in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Right. What I want you to do is come back here again right. on September 18th. Okay. That puts you, that's why I ask you, have you had unprotected sex with anyone no. else? That puts you in the four to six week window because, and this is how this test works. If you've come in contact with the HIV virus, this test can pick it up. If you've come in contact with it within the last two, four, six weeks, it can't pick it up. So what I want you to do from today up until September 18th is to have protected sex. I don't care how much sex you have. I give you all the comments in the world. You could come here every day. Well, I've been trying comments. to squat up to see what's going on. Right. I ain't really trying to lay with No, but if right it now. happens, yeah. in the event that you know what's going on with right. you, and right. you need to be sure about your status, right. I need you wrap it up. Right. I don't care how much fun you have. And like you say, you're on the road, you're traveling. Right. It's broads everywhere. Right. I need you to do this because this about you. This ain't about her. This ain't about him. Right. This ain't about these broads. You're right. going to meet neither. Right. There's only one you. Right. You can't get another DNA of you. If you have children, your children can't get another father. Your mother can have more kids. And it still ain't going to be another you. Right. Just the way you are with the gifts that you have. Right. I'm sorry. Right. So, I want you to be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. And use these comments when you come back on the 18th. That real shit, man. On some real shit. I couldn't believe that she was doing this shit, I can imagine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I deal with other chicks, but I never would imagine that she was sleeping around with somebody, mm -hmm. dog. Like and that shit fucked me up. Like I've been, I've been, I've been fucked up over that shit, man. Let me tell you what y'all do. 
when it comes to us women. Y'all get too comfortable. Right. And that's the truth. And I'm a woman, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. We're capable of doing everything y'all do better. Right. We could do everything y'all do. But I never thought she was But the fact of the though, matter bro. is, we do get, you do get with a woman, and the same vice versa for a female. And we get comfortable because we have grown to know this person. You have a history with her. Five years, that's a history. This is not something you expect her to do. Or you don't expect her to stoop, as you would say, so low. You know what I'm saying? And go this route and put not only you at risk, but herself at risk. Right. She you understand what I'm saying? She protected sex with him, man. Right. I looked at the fucking recording that the nigga sent me. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no condom on. And then I asked, I said, yo, how long you been sleeping with this guy? Like, how long you been doing it? She said, I, I slept with him like five times. Five times and you was going back for more. Like, what? Like, man, I'm like, like. And she want me to be like, like, I don't know what she want me to do. You know what I'm saying? She want me to consider still being with her. What do you want to do? I don't, like, I don't really want to deal with her like that after what she did. I don't know if she'll do it again and just come, you know, do it's some. no guarantee. Do some random shit and, and do that shit right, again with right. somebody else and then contract something then. Like, I don't have time for her to be playing with my life right. like that. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I would say this. As a man, because you're a man, we've been moved, but we still deal with feelings, and y'all do have history. Right. It doesn't sound like you're completely done. It does sound like you and your feelings, you have every right to feel everything that you feel. Right. I would say this. If this is someone you're going to keep around, and you're not completely sure about how she's going to move after this, you got to protect you. Right. If she don't want to protect her, that's on her. You got to protect you. Right. And that's that. You want to keep her around? You think we, us as women, we haven't stayed with men who we should have got rid of a long time ago? But you'll be a fool not to protect yourself now knowing all that you do know. Right, so don't have no more, more unprotected sex while period, right? Because you can't trust her. She fired, right? I got you. Absolutely not. Right. Because if anything does come to you then, it's on you. Right. Fool me once, shame on. Fool me twice, shame on me. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's complete the paperwork part now. Mm -hmm. Your race is... Uh, black. Okay, non-Hispanic? No. Okay. You're a male who identifies as a male, correct? Yes. Are you straight, bisexual, or gay? Straight. What is your height? 5'11". About how much do you weigh? About 150. Date of birth? 121.80. Age? 39. You ever been tested for HIV before? No. Okay, so this your first time ever. Mm -hmm. You have been having unprotected sex. Have you shared any needles, drug no, equipment, anything like that? I don't do like any that? drugs. How many, about how many tattoos do you have? About... 20. Okay. Are they all professionally yes. done? Okay. Have you ever been a victim of sexual assault any time in your life? No. You ever been tested for STDs? No. Okay. I want you to go to the Board of Health and do that. That's free too. Okay? okay? You don't got to be itching to have something. Go to the Board of Health as soon as you can. That's a free test that they provide. You give me the card, where to go? I'll get, yes. I'll give you a card. Right. Absolutely. Currently, how many people are you sexually active with? One. Just one. We know that she's a female because you're straight. We do not know her HIV status, correct? No. Okay. Do you engage in anal sex with your partner? No. Okay. No condoms with your partner. Any no. oral sex going on? Yeah. Okay. Do you use any kind of drugs, including alcohol? No. Okay. Okay, today's the 28th. Give me one second. There's just like agency codes that I have to put on this paperwork. So. Mm -hmm. you, you said what? I want you to come back on, uh, did I say 18? Hold up. 18. Right. That is one, two, three weeks from today. Because you said your last um, unprotected sex encounter was August 6th. But like around the 6th or the 8th. Okay. Yeah. So even if, if we doing that, that's one, two, three, four, five, that's six weeks from then. I want to make sure that you're in that window period at the end of it more than in the beginning. Remember I said that window period is four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. Let's go all the way to that six mm -hmm. so that we could be certain. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Right? I got it. Which, how do I spell your first name? Rashawn. R-A-S-H-A-W-N. Do you have a middle initial? M. Okay. Today's the 28th of August, 2019. You ready for me to tell you your result? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to tell you. So, I put your blood on this test kit. 
the solution and it went all the way up. I know this red line is here. It lets me know this test is working accurately and properly. There's no red line present here or here today. You test negative. No HIV. How you feel about that? I don't feel like she cares enough about your health or hers. Because she had come in on the 18th, right? She should. I mean, do, do that seem like she guilty or she like... Like, who wouldn't want to come in for that? A, per, a person who's not concerned about their HIV status. Oh, yeah, right. And I felt the so same anyone way. anyone who's having unprotected sex. Especially with a guy that's fucking was homeless on this coast for over 15 years. That was crazy. I, like, I don't even believe she did this shit, yo. Like, I really, in my heart, like, I couldn't believe she stooped this fucking low, dog.